Yes, please. Shut the door. We got dominated a film. I'd love to say that I did it all, Al, but... We all know. We all... <laughs> can't get these hands dirty. <laughs> hey guys, Dean here from Big Dog Builds. Today I've got something insane on the hoist behind me. This is a Dominator 3.0 Carly kit. So, the 3.25 inch Carly Dominator kit on our first Ram 2500 here in Australia. Very, very excited to get this one in and I can't wait for Rob down in Melbourne to send me some footage once he gets it off-road and actually uses this thing for what its intended purpose is. Rob wanted the best of the best suspension. He's jumping out of a 79 series Land Cruiser with the works into a Ram 2500 Laramie Night Edition from OzMV here in Australia. The Night Edition on these Rams with the black roof, the black accents, the black headlights, just looks amazing. We've kept that theme up with black on black on black, the hint of some red brake calipers. So this thing looks amazing. It's got pretty much the best suspension you can put in a Ram underneath it. The Carly Dominator 3.0 kit with the works. We've also got for the CJC intercooler guard. So this is the front volance delete off the factory bumper. Gives you a bit more clearance there and will stop any stones flicking up and hitting that front intercooler. The suspension with these 3.0 dominators require a full weld-in front um, bottom shock mount. Because of the size of the res on these 3.0 shocks compared to the 2.5s, we're needing to add some more room in this place and Carly have definitely put the time and effort into making these shocks work the best way possible on this platform. So very, very um, in-depth install on this one, chopping off the factory bottom shock mount, so strengthening these up with the Dominator mounts. It's also got a coil retainer cup, so this is welded in inside the top of the coil seat to let the coil not um, fall out of place when this thing goes off-road and boogies. It's also got the radius arm drops being the 3.25 inch height as well as the Carly fabricated radius arms themselves. The Carly radius arms also have the limit strap option there so we've welded these onto the chassis so the limit straps will hold it before it maxes out the shock and does any damage there. This thing is insane, he's also gone for the high mount, low mount steering stabiliser from Carly and we've ordered the torsion sway bar for this one earlier this year. It only just arrived in time, so we've actually got a torsion sway bar to film on camera here at Big Dog Builds. A lot of customers are waiting on these. There was a massive delay, and they're a massive upgrade for these trucks. With the torsion sway bar, it'll definitely bring the track back on track. If you're going over wombat holes or out of gutters on 45 degree angle, you definitely feel the difference with how it brings the vehicle back on track and really plants it to the ground. It will eliminate you rolling in the cab side to side and possibly hitting your head on the window when you are on those off-road tracks. So it's a huge upgrade. We are mind blown every time we do one of these Carly kits with just the quality that the components offer. This one's also got the stainless end links on the end of the torsion sway bar as well. So the factory ones are known to bend or snap or just get damaged with any sort of lift kit in place. So upgrading these to the best on the market is definitely our option here at Big Dog Builds. The Carly front diff guard will definitely strengthen up that front pumpkin as well on the diff cover. So this will help stop any stone chips or if Rob does decide going somewhere he probably shouldn't with one of these trucks. If he does hit underneath there, he's got that extra layer of protection. So the intercooler guard from CJC off-road as well as the Carly diff guard as well. With the factory suspension set up on the rear of these rams, the shock absorber actually mounts up inside the rear chassis rail. When you go to a larger bore diameter shock, these tend to hit or rub on the chassis itself. So Carly have gone and designed, developed a full weld-in top shock mount. So it actually replaces the mount altogether. This one gets welded on the outside of the chassis up on the tube. Very, very strong setup. The geometry of the suspension in the rear end of this vehicle mixed with the R2 Carly rear coils. So these are their heavy duty coils. Rob is intending to add some extra weight on this one down the track. So we've gone and also installed the Airbag Man coil helpers. So a custom kit here, installed just manual inflation for now until Rob adds air on board and a canopy down the track next year sometime. 
For this build, we've gone for the Fuel Covert 20 inch wheels. So we've got these ones through Wheel Pros Australia. These are a 20 by nine POS1 setup. So we do have some Bushwhacker smooth flares coming to cover the tire poke on this one here with our regulations here in Australia. This is also running a 37, 12 and a half, 20 inch Toyo RT. So the Toyo RT is a great tire, very popular here at Big Dog Builds. The 12 and a half inch wide tire on a nine inch wide wheel with the POS1 offset is needing a little bit of trimming on these trucks, depending on what size you go, the offset and how wide you run. The 37s definitely are a nice fit on these trucks with the 3.25 inch height, and I think suit it to a T. We've also gone and installed a Titan Long Range OEM replacement fuel tank in this model. So it's 197 liters of fuel storage on board now for Rob. I think he might look at adding a second fuel tank when he does his canopy build next year sometime. But for now, he's got 197 liters of fuel on board to get him between the fuel stops and not having to pull over as often. These trucks are surprisingly really good for fuel economy, even while towing here in Australia, compared to a lot on our market in the 200s. 79s the 300 series land cruisers you'll be surprised with how good these cummins are at towing vehicles or trailers sorry and boats and whatnot but yeah that extra fuel storage definitely helps out that's for sure so we've gone and engineered the fuel tank the suspension wheels tires on this build rob's down in victoria can't wait to see this one with registration plates on and and hitting some of the tracks down south that we don't have up here. So there's no snow up here in Queensland. Rob, you better get that thing to the Victorian high country and I look forward to seeing it. Getting the right suspension set up for your application. This one here is a little bit probably extreme for a lot of people's uses. The pin top 2.5 is definitely the most popular shock absorber for most of our builds here. But Rob's gone the next level again, the 3.0 Dominator. If you're interested in it, guys, get in touch today and I can quote it up. I look forward to getting it installed and seeing more of these weapons on Australian roads. Damn. Damn, boy.